Hopkinton Public Schools hosted a public forum regarding safety. The panelists featured several individuals who play key roles in school and community security. The Director of Technology, Ashok Ghosh, talked about some of the technical measures that are being taken to secure schools. After the audit, some of the changes we made to the local securities were as follows. Um, we started to develop and maintain a common user database uh, for security for both town and, and school employees uh, and moved away from the traditional lock and key systems to an electronic digital key fob system, which is centrally managed and organized. Uh, and so, for example, if someone um, leaves the district or is fired for some reason, we can immediately disable that key fob without having a lot of extra work to go and rekey all of the doors uh, in a building. So beyond cost savings, it's, it's a much easier system to manage and it's a much more secure system. Uh, in addition to that, we put access controllers, um, which work with these key fobs at all of the buildings uh, throughout the district, uh, including the central admin building, uh, to allow uh, staff and key personnel to enter uh, buildings that they had permission to be in. Uh, over the last several years, we started, uh, once the uh, access controllers and key fobs were distributed and staff were trained on that, we started to implement perimeter cameras on those key doors where these access controllers were, so we'd have some insight into people entering and leaving the building uh, in those key areas. Um, beyond that, we started to uh, create double entry points at all of the school buildings. Uh, those air gap spaces where you'll see out here on the left in the high school, uh, where you have to be buzzed into a place and then buzzed in again uh, to create a, an extra level of safety and security between outside and inside uh, of the facilities. Uh, beyond that, we upgraded over the last two years all of the alarm systems in the four buildings, which is the middle school, high school, obviously, center is coming with a new building, Marathon School, and then Elmwood. All have new uh, alarm intrusion detection systems that are now in place and operational which gives uh, the building security not only at night when we're away from the building, but during the day when the building is occupied. So we now have eyes and ears kind of on all the doors uh, in the main buildings on campus. Uh, and in the next uh, several weeks, the month, we'll also have notifications that are triggered on key door events. So if a student perhaps leaves a door open or propped, uh, key personnel will get an email notifying uh, that building and, and the resource officer, that, do that door is left ajar and we can go and, and deal with that. So before the, those systems were put in place, we didn't really have that level uh, of kind of access uh, over the perimeter doors besides physically going and checking all of them. So it makes it a much more efficient system. One of the biggest things, we talk about all the technology and the security mes uh, measures, but the biggest thing, and what we saw happen down in Florida, is prevention. There was, what, 36 red flags down there. If I had one red flag go unnoticed, you know, I would consider myself a failure at my job. We work together as a great group, and uh, the incident crisis teams, anytime we get information of any possible threat to our children at this school, we are on top of it, we vet it thoroughly, we take action when we have to. So I'm just uh, very proud, the uh, chief, of the Hopkins Police Department, work with all the great men and women, and very proud to be part of this uh, collaborative effort to make sure that the children in the Hopkins school system are under the, uh, the safest plan it could possibly be. To us, it's just giving the students a voice and, and acknowledging, uh, but also working with the staff, equipping them with the tools to be able to have some of these conversations. We have six guidance counselors at the high school, three adjustment counselors, and a school psychologist. We work very closely with Denise. Um, and one of our programs that we started uh, a few years ago is called our START program. I know this doesn't necessarily answer your question, but it's right through those doors over there. And it works with students that are returning from extended absences uh, and oftentimes from mental illness. And so uh, we have seen our reduction of hospitalizations for students for mental illness uh, decrease dramatically. Uh, and almost 0% uh, of students who have got hospitalized have been rehospitalized since we've implemented this, this program. So that's another effort that we are making to try to work with the students and hear from the students and, and support families and students when it comes to school safety and, and ensuring a, a nurturing environment at the high school. To view the full forum, head over to the HCAM YouTube page, youtube.com slash HCAMTV, or our website, hcam.tv.